guys. So I have woken up. Um, I've been up for a little while. It's like six something at the moment. Um, and I have been up since about 3.30 because I went to sleep at 7.30 because I just couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. I was so tired. It's not what you should do when you're traveling. You should try and push through, but I was just wrecked. So I am going to deal with the consequences of that. So I am up, I am moving, I have a shower, clearly, and I'm about to do my makeup, and then I'm going to head out for the day. So um, Dale gets in tonight, um, and by the time she gets to the hotel, um, I would think that she might just want to have dinner, <laughs> and then we'll just retire for the night. Uh, and then the real fun kicks off tomorrow. We have plans for tomorrow. So yeah, I am at the hotel in what is a very tiny room. I feel like I lived the three bears of hotel rooms. So in New York, I had a massive suite at the St. Regis. It was huge. It was lovely, but I really felt like I paid for a lot of space that I just didn't use on that trip. So when I was looking at this trip, I'm like, no, no, I'm just going to get like a hotel room, like just a normal hotel room. There's no point. Um, and I forgot how small hotel rooms in London are. Um, and my suitcases are just on the floor and I once they're on the floor I can't get around the bed that's how small this room is so yeah it's uh it's a little small but we won't complain I am not complaining I am grateful to be here in London and doing my thing so we make the best of it um so I'm just gonna get ready um with what I bought which is not all my usual skincare and stuff um I'm thinking today I'm going to go over to, I think it's called Shepherd's Wood, the, the Sephora's there. Sephora's only just opened in the UK um, and I really want to see what they've got. I know that I'm going to Paris and there's a Sephora there as well, but Paris is going to be really busy, so I just don't know if I'll get time um, there. So I'll try and go here to look at all the brands that we just don't have in Australia. There's so much stuff that we just don't get in Australia. Um, so I'm going to go over there um, and I think I'm going to catch the tube. I will brave the tube. I have dug out my old tube cards, my oyster cards. Um, one is 15 years old and one is I think about 10 or 11 years old. So I'm going to take them and see if they've still got money on them because they probably do. Um, and yeah, I'm going to brave the tube system. Uh, and see how I go with that and then I want to go to Harrods later on today and just have a wander around there So I'll take you guys with me. I'm gonna finish getting ready um, and Yeah, well that smells good. If anyone's interested. That was the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream which I've never used before but I really like Elemis and Goodness that sound that smells so good. Love that. Um, and it feels really good, too hmm, Impressed with that um, so yeah, let's get ready and um, get out of here. Bye. So I have successfully navigated my way over to Westfields in Shepherd's Bush on two um, tubes. And I'm feeling pretty proud about myself at this point because that was an experience. It's been a very long time since I've been on a train um, or a bus or any kind of normal public transport in my world it's all cars because I live so far out so public transport other than like planes really isn't something that I spend a lot of time on anymore but last time I was in London I did catch the tube so I do have some understanding but it was still a bit nerve-wracking but I got here I did it all on my own um, so I've arrived I've never been here before but I'm on the hunt for Sephora which I'm told is here but in the meantime I found all these stores so let me spin you around you can have a look so we have Prada and there's Gucci, if we walk this way. We have, over there is Louis Vuitton. I need to start to sound more French, Louis Vuitton. Uh, and there's Tiffany & Co. So all the high-end stores seem to be in Westfields as well. And what's down here do we think? Oh, Burberry, Burberry's there. So there seems to be a lot of high-end stores here, so I'm going to go have a wander. And we have Mulberry. Do you think I need to buy Mulberry because I'm in the UK? Is this a requirement? Let me know. Okay, so this place is absolutely huge. 
um, in so many places I want to stop but I found Sephora so I'm feeling pretty good about that um, and yeah I think there might be a few stops on this little trip so wish me luck oh my god look what I found oh, it's a duck store it's not open yet it's actually called duck world but look look at all the ducks <gasps> okay yeah Meredith's gonna need a duck oh my god look there's Crash Bandicoot duck <gasps> where's Wally duck <gasps> there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there's Ghostbusters oh my god I'm such a nerd uh, <gasps> look at all the ducks yeah definitely gonna need a duck hey coming back here when it opens so I have dropped this morning's um, shopping back at the hotel and now I am at Harrods. So let's go see how much damage I can do here. So I left you guys at Harrods saying that I was going to take you in to look around. Yeah, no. <laughs> I got into Harrods, quickly got lost, couldn't find my way around, wasn't sure I knew where I was or what I was doing and I started to get an overwhelming sense of anxiety and went, no, nope, can't do it. Harrods is lovely. It has so much in it and yes, we have department stores in Australia, though not to that size and I have been in big department stores in New York, but Harrods is not laid out well. Well, it's, it's laid out the way it is and that's how you just get used to it, I suppose, but it's very much... Um, you go down a chute and suddenly you're in a whole different section and you go somewhere else and you're in a whole different section and it's really hard to find things and I imagine if you shop there often you work it out pretty quickly but I was just there were people everywhere and there was just different areas and I don't ever do well when I can't find an exit or when I can't navigate where I'm going. The last time I felt like that, I got lost in a casino in Vegas and I couldn't find an exit and I don't like that. So yeah, I was it was all just a little bit overwhelming. So I'm like, I can't do this. So I just left and then I got caught in the rain because it's raining again. So I navigated my way back to the hotel via the tube system, which I am quickly mastering. Um, and yeah, I'm back in the hotel now. So not much to report. I did buy some fragrances from Harrods, um, one for my husband and one for myself. Um, and some souvenirs for my kids, like just little bears from Harrods. So that was it really. It's nothing exciting. So I have um, a couple of hours and then Dale gets here. I'm excited. <laughs> So yeah, I will uh, pick this up when Dale gets here. Until then, I am just going to sit in my room for a little bit and decompress. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So we're downstairs and Dale's going to be here any minute. It's exciting. Look who I found! Hi! <laughs> Uh, she's here, you right? <laughs> <laughs> we have two of the peas. We're missing a third pea. Yeah. Hi, and, Connor. And, hi. Love you. And we love you. Love you. We're too tight to come. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we're both going to go to bed now, and we will catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Bye. I mean, um, <laughs> where are we? See you, old chap. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hi guys, it's my second full day in London, um, having a great time. Dale arrived last night. Um, if you don't know Dale, she is from the YouTube channel Dale's Addiction. I will link her channel down below. She's fabulous. Um, and I'm excited to have some company. Um, I had a great day yesterday on my own. I'm always okay on my own, but it's also nice to have someone else here to share this with. So we're going to go do some shopping up on Regent Street this morning. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm shaking. I don't know why. Um, so we're going to go do some shopping this morning and then we've got high tea at the Ritz, which I'm really excited about because I've always wanted to do that. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And then I think we're going to catch up with a friend tonight, um, who is based here in London. Um, and we're going to just get dinner and some drinks and yeah, that's pretty much what's going on today. So my hair and makeup is all done. I've just got to throw on some lipstick um, and get dressed and then I'm going to go down and have some breakfast, get some coffee. The coffee here in the hotel is actually decent, which I'm really happy about because yeah, I need coffee to 
keep me going at the moment. I'm not getting a huge amount of sleep, but I never do when I'm away. So yeah, let's go see what London's got in store for us today. Bye guys. So we've reached Regent Street. We are outside Burberry because Dale is on the hunt for the elusive trench coat in stone. She is currently also vlogging. No doubt her vlog will go up before mine because she's way more organized than me. But I'll spin you around and have a look at Regent Street. There's Dale. So hi Dale. Hi guys. So Louis Vuitton is there and then Dior is there and Chanel is there and Hermes. Mew Mew and Fendi is down there. So lots of shopping to be done guys. got these little O-lock details on it. So obviously we're in Fendi. <laughs> um, and these pleated skirt. And could I have dressed more appropriately for this or what in my stockings and knee-high boots? <gasps> love it. It's beautiful. <gasps> yeah, love this. So we're hanging at Fendi <laughs> at New Bond Street and uh, we seem to have run into some people. There's Dale. We wear a couple of glasses of champagne in. <laughs> And around there, we have Deb from Wild Unfiltered. <laughs> and in the background is uh, Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet. Because it's see how many YouTubers you can find in London. <laughs> like I was the other night and look it's raining again <laughs> yay because this is what happens when I go to Buckingham Palace but you got to meet Princess Donald <laughs> yeah raining again three days in a row London you're killing me we're gonna go around to the right raining <laughs> 